Good day, good day. <laughs> How the hawk are you? Guess what? We're going to continue on our voyage with the Matchbox Land Rover 90. Yes, I will try to uh, tag uh, videos up here. We are up to part four. It took us four videos to get through all of these buggers. And uh, we stopped off at 2000, the year 2000. Now, there are missing ones. We're going to start with uh, number 38. Uh, number 37, <laughs> because I'm missing 37. But anyway, uh, one of the places that you can go that, uh, and they're back up online. One of the other reasons why I kind of took a break from uh, doing this was, uh, ba bam, B-A-M-C-A, uh, their website was down there fixing it or whatever. I'm not really sure, but uh, go check them out. That's where I get my, a lot of my information. Bay Area Matchbox Club Association, I believe is what it is, stands for, but it is the Bay Area Matchbox uh, Association. So check them out. They have a list of everything of the MB180 is the uh, number for this. So here you go. You can see we're right up as far as you want. And uh, I found, I just bought this uh, nice display thing, <laughs> and it, I just kind of threw it up there. I was at the at the secondhand store, and I'm like, "Hey, I like that!" And I brought it home, and they, the cars fit on there really nice. And so I put on my little post-it notes and stuff, so you can kind of see the one through four videos right here. All right. Well, without further ado. Let's take off, and I believe the next uh, one is uh, number 36, I want to say, and uh, 2001, all right? All right, we're taking a quick snapshot here of uh, number variation uh, 37. This is right off of BMACA's org's, uh, .org's website. This is number 37. I do not have this one. Um, got a China base. Uh, China stamped on the base, charcoal base, gray interior, black with the uh, green top, and obviously you can see the Land Rover insignia with the yellow, green, and uh, dark green, or yellow, green, green. And uh, so there you go. Uh, very, very nice, uh, but I don't have it. Can you believe it? 2001. All right, now moving on to number uh, 38, variation number 38. We're going to go back on the table. All right, back on the counter here, the table here, and uh, we're going to start out with, oh, boy, you can see my table is just full, and uh, we're not even close to being done. All right, number 38, variation number 38, came out in 2000, and... Uh, 2001, I gotta rearrange my lights here. We, had, we got so much stuff going on. Is uh, this one here, 2001? Uh, it's got a black base. It has uh, just uh, the China uh, stamp on there. You can see the, uh, if we can focus here, it has uh, China base and then it has this, uh, uh, what do they call it, detail? Um, ink mark on them they all have that it's uh, one um one variation it's the canine patrol and uh amber windows black interior blue top with a light blue body and then it has these uh everything seems to uh uh have the uh what do they call that chainsaw jig uh jigsaw wheels that uh, that's the era that we're into right now. Um, yeah, the the one through four had to deal with the first original style uh, wheels. Now we're on to the second, and they're more decorative. There's hardly a, a, a Land Rover now, a '90 now that is just plain. Uh, you know, they're all kind of decorated, and I've uh, got some neat stuff. So I've got. Uh, Four of these buggers loose. Two of these I bought uh, with the blue dots. I bought from a guy from Iola. 
And uh, his his deal was he bought the, here's a banged up one. Holy cow, look at that one. We're going to customize that one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he would uh, buy, he bought a, a collection of a guy that his collection was nothing but five packs. And he would bust up five packs. That's what his collection consisted of. So I bought that. So this came in a five pack. It was the Animal Helpers five pack gift set. It was on the bottom and a bunch of non interestings. <laughs> but there you go. And that was uh, 2001 that came out. So the next one is 2002. And it was. Um, this Mexico one, and uh, very, very nice, very decorative. This was part of the Across America 50th birthday series that Matchbox did. Uh, very interesting color on the bottom. Uh, what did they call this? Gloss Silver Blue with a China base, Silver Blue. And these are kind of hard to get a hold of. Tan interior, kind of a smoke window on this one. Um, tan top, and it's they call this uh, orange yellow. And uh, most of these came in, uh, well, these all came in a three pack. And this is what the three pack looked like. And, uh, oh, wouldn't you know it, Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, wow. So Toys R Us is now defunct, so now, you know, these are going to be harder to get a hold of. Yeah, great. <laughs> so I think I bought a couple of these on the card at Toys R Us myself, uh, but then I bought a couple of them um, on eBay. These are not too hard to find. They do call for a premium price, though, uh, in my book, but... Uh, Got the saw blade wheels on it, but very nice, attractive uh, looking. And that's number 38, 2002. Now, um, number 40 variation is this car, 2002, number 40 uh, variation, but in a dark yellow. Dark yellow. So I don't have anything like that. Uh, mine are all this orange yellow. So Always on the lookout for those. Yeah, so number 40, which I don't have, 2002, came out uh, with a dark yellow. So comment down below if you got any of these that uh, I'm missing. I'd really like to know. All right, number 41 is um, the Crocodile Hunter. And I've talked about this bugger on this uh, before. Um Got some parts and pieces. This came with a gift set, too. Um, well, here's what it came. This is how it came uh, on the card. And uh, I bought these new uh, Kmart and uh, three four uh, three forty nine, And they're the Matchbox Collectibles, the Crocodile Hunter. And it came also with a uh, Nissan and a helicopter, too. And a... Uh, I've had uh, videos on that too, so if you looked up Matchbox, um, you know, in the playlist, you'll find uh, that too. So I've got two of those on the card, three forty-nine, and then I've got a loose one. I, I cracked one open. I believe I bought all of these uh, uh, at the store in the wild. I don't think I bought any of these on eBay, but uh, I, they do pop up every once in a while. But this is also a China base, and it's got the uh, detail printed on there, too. So, real riders, very fancy good years, eagles, pretty flashy, pretty flashy. So that's number 41. Number 42 is probably one of the most popular. Um, yeah, they seem to, uh, in 2003 is when this came out. And... Um, Wow, they made a bunch of these. And, oh, you know what? I'm skipping a year. I'm sorry. Because, um, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this, I, I guess I got so excited because um, this is, this is number uh, 41. 
42. We're on to 42. Excuse me, 42. And uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I bought this at Kmart, as you see, $6.99. It's got a boat. It's got Clifford the Big Red Dog. Uh, uh, Volkswagen bus. Got an old car in there. And, uh, yeah, camper thing. Uh, RV. And uh, you know what? This is the one and only that I have of this bugger. Red, it's got a black base, smoke windows, or red windows, excuse me, red windows, black top, get old Clifford on there. Red interior, because the boulevard's red, and uh, the uh, chainsaw. But I would like to get one of these loose. I don't have one loose. Unbelievable, huh? All right, so that's number 41. Or 42, excuse me, came out in 2003. Now 43, number 43 is this one. Uh, came out in 2004. And like I say, in 2004, they must have made a billion of these because I've got quite a few of them. Um, China base, black gloss base. It's got a black uh, interior, smoked windows, green top to it. And uh, just a nice enamel red. Just a nice enamel red. Does not have the the uh, printed, um, what's the one there that's got print? Doesn't print there. But, uh, so this is a very, very popular one. Uh, um, I've got uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six loose ones. I think I've got one over in the desk there that uh, I was uh, customizing. <laughs> Then I've got three on the card here, too. Um, yeah. So, very, very interesting. Uh, I think they made, made a million and one of these um, back in uh, 2004. Yeah, just un unbelievable. Just, uh, these are one of the... And, uh, yeah, it was uh, Hero City. This was... Uh, I should talk a little bit about that. The Hero City, that's... Uh, Matchbox was trying to do some uh, neat and crazy stuff with their Hero City, and uh, wow, yeah, they really pumped out a lot. And uh, yeah, as you see here, they did uh, crazy character kind of cars and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just just really uh, crazy. Uh, if you're any kind of a collector, uh, Matchbox collector, you know what Hero City is. And uh, wow, yeah, they really pumped out the stuff uh 2004 there so really really kind of nice um yeah all right let's keep moving right along we um i have um the next one here that we're going to look at is uh this one here and um i don't have number 44 and number 45 this is a 46 so let's talk a little bit about uh, number 44. Uh, it's the Hyena, Hyena Trail number 14, uh, brown top to it, uh, kind of a metallic brown, uh, metallic tan is what they call it, uh, black base. Now number 44 would say made in China and would have these smoked windows. These are these are kind of smoked windows. Let's kind of zoom in there. Those are the smoked windows, tan interior because it has a tan bull bar uh, with the jigsaw wheels. Uh, deco on the side, nothing on the back, nothing on the front, nothing on the back. Uh, just a really kind of cool. Uh, so that was number forty-four, China base. Number 45, still 2005, would be this car, China base, but with black windows, uh, really dark, dark black windows, almost not uh, transparent. Don't have those. What I have is version, uh, variation number 46 and 2005. And uh, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Very nice truck. I like this. These are kind of common. You can pick these up pretty good. Um, I've got uh, five of them, uh, uh, three of them loose. I don't know where I got five, but uh, three of them loose. And uh, they're all uh, Thailand base. And uh, this one again with the dot on it. I know I, I got that at the Iola car show 
over in Iola, Wisconsin, and talking about that guy that uh, his the guy selling it bought a collection of a guy that his collection was to open five packs. So yes, this uh, hyena hyena trail number fourteen uh, was only sold in a five pack. And, uh, yeah, I don't think it really had a name to it or anything. It was just a five-pack. Had uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Has this, uh, I don't know, GMC. No, that's a Jeep Cherokee. The Land Rover. And then the Freelander. And then uh, uh, another uh, non-licensed um, vehicle, the Safari vehicle there. So, yeah, so that only came in a five-pack. Uh, you can pick those up. They're not too uh, hard to find. But, uh, but that's where we're at. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I got to get going. <laughs> we're over 15 minutes, I believe, already. So uh, we're going to make another uh, video of the uh, new wheels. Uh, this was uh, 2001 to 2005. So uh, stick around. We got more coming up. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, come over to Facebook. Yeah, our Facebook group is growing uh, leaps and bounds. And uh, that's where you can uh, show your pictures. Like if you have the, the dark yellow one, or if you have the uh, first one, the number uh, 37, the Land Rover black with the Land Rover on the door. Uh, yeah, all these. And even this one here, do you got a black window one that says China on the base? Yeah. So Facebook, Roverland. And uh, also, you can check me out on Instagram as we're trying to focus and we're not focusing. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now it's time to go. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.